was really hurt. Murdoch has been deeply lacerated and humongous. Now, with his first in the city of Milwaukee, humongous has got Murdoch, and Murdoch is in so deep trouble. Sick Murdoch. This is stunning crowd. The crowd is hushed. They can't believe what they're seeing. Dick Murdoch being virtually manhandled by this phenomenal athlete. Carl Fergie checking the arm. That's twice. If he goes the third time without a response, he calls it. No! He won't break it, Jim. This could be very dangerous. 6'4", 254, 260 pounds, and the creature almost decapitated him. He literally just totally upended that young man. He landed on the top of his head, and now the shit on Amaki, and the creature from the valley of death, Humongous, claims another victim. Humongous, the tremendous, powerful grappler over Harry Jackson, will return, and we'll see El Casario in the ring. A vicious body slam as Mike Thorne is helpless, humongous, is having his way, and then the Shinonamaki. Here's that Shinonamaki, a deadly oriental hold. And with the power of humongous, it's got to be one of the most dangerous holds in wrestling, and he won't break it. You see, Oliver Humperdinck appears to be the only man that can make humongous break this hold. This, Jim, this could be fatal. This is... He's got to get the hole broke. Humongous with a tremendous strength. We saw that same signal last week, and now they're going for the shit in the monkey. And Steve Costas is in such, such trouble. The referee has got to be extremely careful in this situation. He's going to call for the bell. He's calling for the bell. Costas is with a clearness flowing. Costas is severely lacerated. That mask. That mask is an unreal weapon. You need some kind of strategy to go against him. You really blows to the face or ineffective there. He sets up the shin and the maki. Well, Humongous has put many a man away with a shin and the maki. And the referee has called for the bell, ladies and gentlemen. deep in the midsection of Sean O'Reilly. That headgear is really an awesome weapon, but here's an awesome weapon, the Shin and Amaki. The Shin and Amaki, he has it locked in tight. Sean O'Reilly's a big, tough guy. Carl Fergie asking for the break. He's called for the bell. The match is over. But once again, we see Sir Oliver Humperdinck and Jim, as he said, almost hypnotic-like suggestion for Humongous to break the hold. That power slam, he had him elevated well above his head, and now he goes, looks he's setting for that shin in the maki. Just throws it right down like a sack of wheat. Shin in the maki and Pat Rose is really gonna have to muster some awesome strength and adrenaline to get out of this one. Well, the, they, the referee's going to have to... Jim, he's got to break this hole. This could get very dangerous. Humper Dick did to find ways around them. It's up to Jake the Snake, Hacksaw Duggan, people that are facing this guy, Butch Reed. they got to figure a way to fight fire with fire because as far as we're concerned, if he can use that, they can take the necessary steps. Just like the Midnight Rider, he used to shock folks, I understand, with about an eight-cell Duracell hot shot. There's got to be a way if there's a will. But this man is awesome, and Steve Condon doesn't have the will or the way. Hasn't broken yet. Shinonamaki. It's a version of the sleep. Humperdinck again with that...